different gear for different music? Sarush in Tehran, Iran wants to ask this question. And I, I thank God we have viewers in Iran. That is awesome. I really think that is cool. And I so wish our two countries would get their collective feces together. I mean, I don't know why we can't all just get along. But that's never happened in the history of mankind. So I guess that's silly for me to even think that. Okay. Uh, do you suggest to use different types of audio gear, DACs, amps, speakers, or even cables for getting the best sound from different music genres in general? For instance, if you listen to classical music or jazz, etc., you should use, should, should you use a different kind of speaker and amp from a person who usually listens to rock music or pop? I mean, how can we choose a set of sound systems for our taste of music. And thanks, Paul, for sharing your knowledge to the world. Well, my pleasure. And, and thank you for, for writing all the way from uh, Tehran. That, that's cool. I wonder what the hi-fi scene is there. That, I mean, are there hi-fi shops? I know so little. I, I, anyway, I, there must be. I think it's great. Um, that's, a, that's a tough question. Much of it has to do with your budget. So, if you have a decent budget, you should be able to buy a system that is stellar, wonderful on all forms of music. You take Music Room One or even, um, even the Stellar, not to make a, a, a poor comparison there, but uh, even our Stellar Room. Rock sounds great on either of those rooms, as does classical music. But and that's the way it should be. That's the way when we do a system right, and you, you get the right equipment, you get the right speakers, those criteria are that all genres of music are handled beautifully. And that's how you treat your room, that's how you get your cables organized. Because when I do listening tests, I go through a plethora, don't you love that word? Plethora of music. I have my classical pieces, I go from little harpsichord tinkly in, you know, harps and harpsichord, little tiny things, to opera, to big symphonic pieces, and then I click over to some raunchy rock. All of that has to work on our systems, and we design all of our systems to work with all music genres. That's part and parcel of PS Audio's DNA, if you wish and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. That said, in many cases, depending on, I mean, we're not the only company around, right? So if you're on a fairly low budget and you don't have a lot of money to spend, now you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful in picking the genre of music. For example, Elax are one of my go-to favorites. Um, uh, Andrew Jones designed them. He's an excellent designer. Elax are cheap, the, the, the kind I'm talking about, the ones that are made over in China. They, they are they're cheap and they're really, really good. But mostly for pop music, uh, music that we're maybe younger people are going to listen to. I think they're really good. They do, if you're going to listen to a lot of rap and stuff, you're going to need to augment them because they don't have any bass. So you're going to have to augment them with a subwoofer. But I say that about everything, right? So, um, but if I were a classical fan and I didn't have a big budget, then I probably would want to go over to spend a little more and get like a pair of Kef LS50s. So, uh, and there that speaker system and which is where you're going to make the biggest differences in the kind of speakers that you get. Um, I don't like Kef, the LS50s for rock. They don't have any balls or grunt. You know, I mean, they're just, they're kind of wimpy. But for classical music, whew, they're great. They have glorious mid-range, really nice top end on that coaxial tweeter. So, yeah, I mean, those are the kind of trade-offs that I would be looking at were I to have to make a choice down, down below. Now, 
in the future we will have our own speakers. I've talked a lot about it on our channel. I just heard um, Chris's, Chris Brunhaver is our speaker genius. And Chris just showed me a model of a Sprout speaker that would probably retail for, I don't know, maybe a grand for the pair. Though, and maybe that tall, like a bookshelf. That thing went down to 30 hertz. I mean, he played, we went from a Madonna piece to a, I don't know, it was like a Chopin, maybe it was Beethoven piano, but they were glorious. I mean, and so when you see a PS Audio speaker, not to toot our horn too much, you won't have to make that distinction. You'll be able to buy with confidence that it's going to play whatever you want. But we're talking about in general, and we don't have speakers. Someday we will. Okay, so thank you so much for the question, um, and uh, I hope you have some time or ability to, to visit here, because I don't think I'm going to be going to Iran anytime soon. But if you do, you'd be most welcome here. Okay, thanks. Bye.